Hello everyone, it's Crab here. Here to give you another tour review of Marvel Select Cable. As you can see, he's kind of like in this little plastic right here with all his accessories here, his guns. You can see that, you can see that little face. And all that other stuff he got on there. But we get to wait to see him. We can't wait to see him out the package. And this is the side of the box of cable. More stuff with cable. You got Zombie Magneto right there and Spider Man. You got his little backstory right here. So, the size just this. So, let's get him out the box. Here he is out the packaging. And his sculpt is pretty awesome. But as you can see, it, it don't give much mobility here in, in the head. All this stuff in a way you can tell he's from the 90s with all these pouches and guns and bullets like a character should just shoot at these and he just explode you remind me of that guy that was from I'm um, gonna get you suck that just had all those weapons and it just like you know he tripped on a random bullet and killed it so that's what he remind me of now let's get into his articulation he can move that that far but this is in the way so you can't move it too you know too much uh, he had like a little swivel here in the wrist. Arm can bend 90 degrees, single jointed. Uh, same for this side, same thing. And um, from the top, that that's much it. You can't really do much else because it's big, bulky stuff on him. But to see the legs go out this much. Do the same on this side. A little hard though, okay, kind of new figure. Look at that. There you go. And then his legs bend. 90 degrees, just single jointed. Can bend at the ankles. No ankle pivot. And pretty much that's, that's it of them. So you got these other accessories here you got this gun got okay, all these guns look at this you can put it in there there you go blah, blah, blah. it can also do it sideways it can be like gangster and then uh put that, put that back you come with this knife back here look at this you can stab you no just like tsh, tsh. put that back Yeah, the knife is in the back. And then you have this gun here that's a holster within a holster. Let me let me show you. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there you go. So you got this. And you can take that out of his holster. Ah. He got this little futuristic little handgun. That's all he got. And it also comes with this little stand here, which looks like the big battle that Strife clearly lost the battle to Cable, the original. And let's get him standing on this thing, so you can see how he looks on there. Got one, can we get the other? There you go. Oh yeah, he can't raise his arms up, so he can't really do no awesome posing like, I just won a big battle. No, but he cannot do much of anything. This big thing is in the way. So yeah, there he is. There's your hero. And here's his other like accessory. You got this big gun right here. So he can do his like hyper viper beam from our vs. Capcom 2. And this is another gun. I guess that you know he can like shoot at Apocalypse with or something. And here's the other gun right here that's shown before. And that's pretty much all of his accessories. So let's get to the size comparison. Here he cable is next to Strife, Marvel and Build the Figure Wave. 
and his uh, X Force Wolverine and Captain America. Now, Cable's height is about a little over seven inches. Next to his clone here, uh, they kind of like out of proportion, as you can see it if you look close. Even though they're supposed to be clones, so they probably be at the same height. But the actual Cable is slightly taller than his clone Strife. And. See, this is all his other stuff he got back here. He got a flat butt. Alright. Hey, overall, I don't like the figure. He don't have a lot of articulation. But he do come with a lot of accessories. I still don't even know what this part up here does. It's just there. I thought he had like had like a action figure that had like something that you could attach to that part, but not with this one. But yeah, I, I, I like recommend like y'all stay away from this unless y'all a major cable fan, then buy them. But I say you, you could pass on this guy. But he looks great though, like the sculpt itself, he looks amazing. But just yeah, and from his face, he got a lot of detail in his face. He looked all angry and stuff. He got like the little cyborg eye thing going on there. If you can see the scar on his face. He kind of remind me of Bill Razor from Contra. Well, mainly from Contra Neon. But, yeah. He's an okay figure, but I just don't, like, recommend it. And, uh, so, who's your favorite time traveler? Is it, like, the Doctor from Doctor Who? Or is it Trunks from Dragon Ball Z? Just put it in the comments below. Please leave us a like, and please subscribe. And, and just share the video with everybody, because we need the views. And thank you, and keep collecting.